Hey folks, DB here. My new investment, Korg KR-55 Pro Korg Rhythm Machine. What I'm going to do is quick, read the quick start just for practice purposes. The quick start. The functions you can enjoy jamming along with realistic live recorded drum and percussion accompaniment. 24 different rhythm styles are built in. You can directly select these rhythm styles by using the buttons on the top panel. Each rhythm style has two variations, and each of these variations contain three rhythm patterns. Basic fill-in one and fill-in two. You can switch variations of rhythm patterns in real time as needed during your performance. You can use the chain function to create the rhythm structure of an entire song so that it'll play automatically. Acoustic uh, AccuStage surround function. AccuStage technology provides an expansive extra wide sound field, full fledged mixer functionality, a mic input, two guitar inputs, and an AUGS input allow multi channel mixing. You can apply reverb effects to inputs from the mic in jack, input one jack, and input two. You can use an equalizer to adjust the tonal character. Tuner function, you can tune while viewing a large and easy visible meter. You can tune while listening to the pitch of an audible guide tone. Recording function, you can create complete songs by recording chain rhythm styles along with your own performance. You can record along with the playback of an audio file from an SD card. The completed song data can be exported, written as a standard audio file, and played back by commercially available audio played or loaded into your computer DAW. Player function standard audio files wave can be played back from an SD card. You can use the playback function to pull back your audio files in a specific order. A playlist you create can be used for background music or live performances. You can change the playback speed of audio files. Foot switch control by using the Vox VFS5 foot switch you can perform operational tasks without having to take your hands off the instrument. This includes operations such as rhythm or playback, beginning recording, playback while you play your instrument. You'll need an SD card to fit into the KR-55 Pro. And again, the mixer section, number one, Top is use the mixer section to connect with a, a mic, a dynamic guitar, a dynam uh, bass, or other instruments and control its input level and tonal character. Press the power button on that to turn it on. Select section, that's the middle section. Functions of these buttons will change depending on the mode that's selected. For example, in rhythm mode, select the rhythm style and metronome sound. In recorder mode, you can select the metronome sound that is heard when the metronome is on. And in the player mode, you can select the audio file. Control section, dash 3A. Mode buttons. These buttons are used to enter each mode. In rhythm mode, you can sing or play an instrument while rhythm styles plays. Your playing can also be recorded on the recording along with the rhythm style. In record mode, you can overdub over the sounds you recorded in the rhythm mode or record over different input sources. In the player mode, you can play audio files in WAV format 
44.1 KHZ 16-bit stereo from the CD card. You can also record your own playing in the recorder along with the audio file system. In system mode you can select the type of batteries to use, specify that the jacks or specify the, the input jacks to which the reverb effects applies and set the audio power off time. This mode also allows you to format or test a CD card. 3-B function button. These buttons are used to turn the chain playlist loop and count start functions on and off as well as to stop and start the metronome function. These buttons are also used to undo recorded data and to export import audio files. C3 control buttons value dial display. The control buttons are used to control playback and recording. Use the value dial to adjust the tempo and the rhythm style of the metronome or to change the playback speed of an audio file. The display shows the tempo and other values that have been set. Rear panel, the 9 volt jack, connect with the uh, adapter. Stereo mini jack, connect your headphones here. You must connect a stereo plug if there's no sound will if you use a mono plug. Turn the acoustic wide function off when using the headphones the acoustic function optimal when lying out. Foot switch jack connect of Vox VFS5 foot switch commercially available. Here you can use the foot switch to play rhythm styles and perform other operations without having to put down your hands and instruments using a foot page, page 25, owner's manual, aux in jack, stereo mini jack out. That's pretty good. Okay, so number four is AUGS in jack, stereo mini jack. Connect an electronic instrument or other audio sources here. You can perform along with rhythm styles played back by the KR55 Pro or with music from your audio player. Use the controls of the connected device to adjust the volume level. Output L mono comma R jack mono output mono phone jack. Connect this to an external device such as a powered monitor speaker. It's a quarter inch jack. SD card slide insert the card here. Battery cover install a double uh, A batteries. You can use alkaline batteries or nickel metal hydrate batteries. Vicky finger. Getting back to the setup. Before connecting anything, turn off the power. Unless operation would be damaged. Connect the mic and jack or the pro condenser mics are condex condenser mics cannot be used. Connect the guitar bass into input one and jack two. Pro bomb into the KR55 Pro. Connect an external device such as a power monitor speaker output mono R uh, mono output L mono and R jacks of the KR55. Connect your headphones to the headphone jack. It's a little schematic of how things are plugged in. Inserting or removing the SD cards. SD cards that can be used with the KR55 Pro. The KR Pro can be used with the following types of SDs. SDHC in parentheses UHS-1 4GB 32 
gigabyte recommendations. Make sure the power is off. Sort of just push it right in until you hear click, then release. The SD card pops out slightly, allowing you to remove it. Note if the if for details how to properly handle the SD card, refer to the manual with the SD card. Formatting the SD card, which I think I did. Before the SD card can be used, it must be formatted on this instrument. You should also format the card in the following cases. If, there, if the display shows an error message, ERR-CRD, at startup, if the display shows an error message when playing or recording your songs, press the system button to enter system mode, the button lights up. Press the M8 button, the button, the bottom button blinks. The display includes initialize and initialize set OK button blinks. To format the card, hold down the set OK button for approximately one second. During the formatting, the display will INIT, indication on the SD card button will blink. When formatting has ended successfully, the display will indicate end. When you format the SD card, I'll have the data on the card is lost. Testing whether recording can be done on the SD card. See SD card test function, small t EST on page 23 of the owner's manual. Turning the power on and off, the KR55 Pro can be used a EAC adapter or batteries. Using the adapter, plug it in, make sure the power is off, connect the plug. Using the batteries, load them in, remove the batteries from home, install the six AA batteries. The way shown. In system mode, specify the type of batteries you're using. Default alkaline batteries. If you switch to using different types of batteries, be sure to specify the correct battery types in system mode. Owner's better placing the batteries with the body as the power is with them too. Turning power on, press it down. Note if the device is connected to the objects in it. Turns the power on before you continue. If you are using an SD card, insert it into the SD card slot before you turn power on. Insert your remove. On the top panel, set the volume knob to the minimum level, far left. On the top panel, hold down the power button for at least one second. Make sure the button lights. With the KR55 Pro lights up. Adjust the volume on the device. Turn the power off, hold the button down, never turn the power off or disconnect the AC during a recording. All data will be converted, data will be lost. Doing so may make the uh, malfunction or damage, blah, blah. If, if recording or playback occurs, press the stop button to stop. Hold down the power button for one second or longer till button blink. After a time, the power button will display and indicate go dark and the KF55 will shut down. Use caution when turning the power off. Our audio power off. Has a power function, the audio function automatically turns off the power when there has been no user input for the length of time, which you can prefer. Page 23, let's set it. Listening to, listening to the demo songs, connecting, there's only two of them. Playing a guitar, here's how to connect guitar. Set the input one knob to the, and the volume knob to the minimum position and connect your guitar to the input jack. Use input knob one to adjust the 
input level to avoid signal clipping signal that's too loud this knob should be adjusted so that the LED peak does not light up when the signal is being played input is being loudly inputted uh, use the volume knob to adjust the volume that is being outputted from the output L mono R there, I uh, use the treble knob to, and the bass to adjust the tone. As necessary, use reverb to adjust the effects. You can apply reverb to the effects. As necessary, use the reverb knob to adjust the effect. You can apply reverb to the signal from the mic in jack input jack one and input two jacks. Using a mic, let's try connecting a mic to the mic in. Only dynamic mics can be used. Condenser mics are not supported by the KR55 Pro. Set the mic knob and volume knob to the minimum position and connect your mic to the mic and jack. While vocalizing into the mic, use the mic knob to adjust mic input level to avoid signal clipping. Signal so this knob should be adjusted so that the LED doesn't light up when the signal is Being input. Use the volume knob to adjust the volume that is being outputted from the output L slash mono and R jacks. Use the treble and bass knob to adjust the tone as necessary. Use the reverb knob to adjust the desired effect. Playing and recording rhythm styles. Let's try out rhythm styles of various genres. Selecting and playing the rhythm mode. Selecting and playing a rhythm style. Press the rhythm button to enter rhythm mode. The button lights up. Set the volume knob to a fairly low level and set the rhythm slash play knob to about the three o'clock position. Use the one eighth beat slash sound bar buttons to select a rhythm style. The button of the selected rhythm style will light up. Press the arrow slash square button, play rhythm button style. During the playback, the LED above the arrow slash button sign is lit up. The M1-M8 buttons blink to indicate the current playing measure of the rhythm style. So the M1-M8 buttons blink to indicate the currently playing measure of the rhythm style. Use the volume knob to adjust the volume. Use the value dial to set the tempo. You can set the tempo in a range of uh, quarter note equals 48 to 240. The display indicates the tempo value. Tip when Rhythm playback is stopped. You can also set the tempo by pressing the tap slash N button to several times. If you press the button of the different rhythm styles, playback switches to the variety of the top of the next measure. So if you press the button, of a different rhythm style, playback switches to the newly selected rhythm style at the top of the next measure. Press the button slightly ahead of time so that the rhythm style will be ready to switch. Press the arrow stop button for playback stop. For stop it. Tip, you can use the chain function to create the rhythm framework for an entire song by playing it consecutively. So let me read that again. You can use the chain function to create the rhythm framework for an entire song and play it consecutively. See chain function on page 18 of on your manual.
switching variations is when the screen went off. Just I'm curious why the light changed. Switching variations and inserting fill in our ending. Each rhythm style preview provides two variations. Each variation has three rhythm patterns. Basic, fill one, and fill two. Select a rhythm style and play it. See page eight, selecting and playing rhythm style, and press the VAR button to switch the values, to switch variations of the rhythm style. You'll switch to variation B when the next measure begins. The LED above the VAR button will light up to indicate that the variation B is selected. Press the button once again to return to variation A, the LED goes dark. During playback, press F1 or F2 button. A fill in plays when the measure changes. The LED lights and the, the basic rhythm pattern returns. Tip. From the stopped condition, you can press F1 or F2 to start playback with a fill. During playback, press in the tap end button. At the next measure, the ending is played and then the rhythm style stops. Recording your own performance together with the rhythms. The in rhythm mode, you can record your own performance along with the rhythm style. Create a rhythm style chain ahead of time for the song that you want to perform. See creating chains on page 18 in the owner's manual. Our example here explains how to record using a chain that you've already registered. Getting ready to record. The recorded data is saved on the SD card inserted in the SD card slot. In order to record, insert the SD card into the SD card slot before you turn on the power. See page six, inserting and removing the cards. Connect your mic or instrument. See page seven, connecting the uh, playing instruments. Note, the, the AccuStage function cannot be used while recording. Select a chain. Press the chain slash playlist button to turn the chain function on. The button's light. Use F1 or F2 button to select the chain that you want to play back. In this example, press the F1 button to select the C01 chain. Specify a tempo if desired. Put the KR55 Pro in the secondary standby state and select the recording destination song number. Press the dot button to enter the record standby state, the button blinks. The display indicates the song The display indicates the song number D01, D02, dot dot dot. The number of the unrecorded songs blinks. And the record uh, the, the and the number and the number of an already recorded song is lit. Use the F1 or the F2 button to select the song number that you want to record. Tip, if there is an unrecorded song, new song, the lowest number song is selected automatically. If you select previously recorded song number, whose song number is lit, and then start recording, the previously recorded data is lost and overwritten by the newly recorded data. Adjust the recording level of the rhythm and the style of the mic input. Set the volume of the rhythm style by turning the rhythm slash play knob to the three o'clock position. Use the mic knob and the input 
one and two knobs to adjust the volume level of your mic or instrument accordingly. Note, in the record standby state or during recording when the dot button is blinking or lit, the three LEDs at the left side of the uh, display operate, indicate, operate as recording level meters. Adjust the knob listed above so that the LED top function flickers occasionally. To check the recording level of the recording of the rhythm style, press the arrow slash square button and make adjustments while you record. When you're finished making adjustments, press the arrow slash square button to stop the rhythm style. Note, the volume knob does not affect the recording level. If acoustic feedback occurs, use the knob to lower the overall volume. Start recording. Take the steps described in getting ready to record on page 9. Press the Change Start button to turn on the Count Start function. The button blinks. Tip. The Count Start function inserts a two-measure count after you press the dot button before the recording starts. Press the dot button to enter the recorded standby state. The LEDs above the uh, dot button and the uh, square and arrow button blink. Use the F1 or the F2 button to select the song number that you want to record. Note, almost finished, select the song number that you select in step three of the getting ready to record on page nine. Press the arrow slash square buttons. A two measure count is sounded and then recording starts. When recording starts, the LEDs above the button as and the arrow slash square button will light up the count start button goes dark performing along with the rhythm style tip if you like you can initially record just the rhythm style for which you specified within a chain or overdub your performance afterwards see overdubbing onto a recording song page 14 the owner's map when you've finished performing. Press the arrow slash square button to stop the recording. You can listen to the recorded song in the record mode. See playing back the recording performance on page 13 of the owner's mail's tip. If the chain contains a stop setting, it stops automatically. Specifications Rhythm styles are 24 rhythm styles, two variations for each rhythm style. Each variation has three patterns, basic fill-in one and fill-in two. Tempo, again, is 48 to beats per minute to 240 beats per minute. Chain function, 30 banks up to 999 measures can be registered in each. Record function, recording format, C, P, CM, audio wave format file name. So the recording format, PCM, audio wave format, file name extension wave. 44.1 megahertz, 16 bit. Recording time depends on the SD card, approximately 100 minutes per gig. Maximum continuous recording time, three hours, number of songs. 50 maximum number of multi-tracks recordings depends on remaining free capacity CD card undo redo once player function playback function PCM audio wave files an extension wave 44.1 KHZ 16-bit stereo Maximum data size, time depends on a memory card, use proximal memory to begin 
approximately 100 minutes per gigabyte wave maximum number of files up to 99 songs per folder a total of eight folders m dash m8 that is again we'll repeat that maximum number of data files number of folders up to 99 songs per folder a total of eight folders m1 through m8 inside the player folder can be used playlist function 10 banks up to 24 songs can be re registered in each mixer effect selection effects reverb equalized bass treble acoustic wide range effects tuner function Scale 12 note equal temperament. Chromatic calibration 435 to dash 445 HC. Tuning guide three types guitar, bass, and piano. Display seven segment four digit LEDs. SD card usable card SDHC dash UHS. Dash one four gigabyte thirty two recommendation record input jack mic in jack x l r dash three dash three two type balanced input impedance four point seven k ohm um, anonymous level. Minus 43 dBV. Input 1 jack, input 2 jack. Guitar bass, quarter inch, monophone jack, unbalanced. Input impedance 1 M ohm, nominal level minus 26 dBV. Augs input jack 1 eighth stereo. Mini phone jack on balanced input and pins 10k ohms. So the uh, audio input 10, 10k ohms. Nominal level minus 17 dBV. Foot switch jacks, quarter inch stereo phone jack. Usable foot switches, VOX, F, S, V. Okay, usable. Let me try that again. Switch foot, foot switch jack, quarter inch stereo phone jack, usable foot switch, VOX, VFS, five foot switch, output jacks, output L, mono jack, R jack, quarter inch mono jacks, unbalanced, headphone jacks, eighth inch, Stereo mini phone jack max level 0 dBV 30 MV 32 ohms power supply DC 9 volts 6 AAA batteries I'm sorry that's 6 AA batteries 9 volt that is again 6 AA AA batteries Battery life, approximate seven hours. Uh, either alkaline, doesn't matter. Use it when using alkaline or nickel metal hydrate batteries. Varies depending on the batteries and the conditions of use. Current consumptions, 3.30 milliamps. That is, again, 3.30 milliamps. The dimensions uh, is 9.16 inches by 6 by 8.66 by 2.68. Again, the dimensions, the width is 9.61 inches times 8.66 inches times 2.68 inches. Again, the uh, 244 millimeters by 220 millimeters by 68 millimeters. The weight is 3.09 pounds or 1.4 kilograms. The included items are an AC adapter, 
shows that the uh, middle leg is the uh, check it quick start guide. I don't want to say to screw it up. Um, it says on there. Looks like the inter inner probe is the uh, positive and the outer a part of the jack is negative, which makes sense. Specifications in appearance are subjected to change without improvement. That's it, folks. Hopefully it's recording. We have 35 minutes.